welcome to Audrey's Southern Cooking. My name is Nita. Um, if you've been watching my channels, thank you for watching. We've been doing a lot of um, smoking here recently. But um, if you're new to my channel, we do Southern cooking, I'm mostly traditional, but I do some smoking as well on our own hour on our Pit Boss. Uh, it's a Lexington 500 pellet smoker, and it has, it's also a grill too. So if you've never been to my channel before, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the uh, notification bell. Be sure to like and, and make some comments on there what you'd like to see so that you won't miss any of my videos and I'd like to know what y'all would like to see. If you've been here before, I'm so glad you came back. It's so exciting today. Guess what we're going to do today? Today, we are going to smoke a pork butt and I've already smoked it. I want you to see what it looks like and then you can watch the video to see what we did to do that. So let's lower the camera down so you can see it. All right, so be sure to stay tuned so you can see how we prepared this pork shoulder. Hi, welcome to Audrey's Southern Cooking. My name is Nita. All right, so what are we going to do today? It's gonna to be exciting. I'm, more, I'm so excited about this. We're gonna do a smoked pork butt which is actually part of the shoulder, which is, I know, it's kind of crazy, but that's what it is. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, let's see what we've got today. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna take some butter. It melted in my pot. And in this pot, I'm gonna add some brown sugar to melt. And I'm just gonna kinda go with my own little flavors here. So I'm gonna put a little bit of apple wood. This is by Grillmates. You can buy it at Walmart. I think Kroger's carries it as well. Sea salt, just a little. I'm gonna have a little soy sauce. A little Worcestershire, just a couple tablespoons. I really like that maple bake, I'm sorry, maple bacon from Cuisinart. A little bit of garlic powder and I'm gonna put this buttery burger blend I tried it um, in a burger before and it was pretty good it has a little bit too much buttery flavor but I just want to add a little bit and I'm gonna melt all this down and then we're gonna inject the meat and I have my little injector here a little bit of apple juice and the star of the show is the Boston butt now, I just bought this, I think I bought it at Kroger's. Um, I'm sorry, I think I got it at Walmart. This is about seven and a half pounds. And it's got just a little bit of a shoulder bone in there and a little bit of fat. So I'm gonna open this up and I'll get my stuff melted. When we come back, I'll show you how to inject it. Okay, welcome back. So as you see, I've already opened my pork roast. I've kind of patted it down with a paper towel to get all the extra blood off. I melted all of my ingredients in a pot, let it cool for a few minutes, and then I put it in a cup so it's easier for this needle to go into and actually get, get it uh, to inject it. So you can kind of see it. Those little chunks floating on the top is the butter that's trying to come back and solidify. What I'm going to do is put my pork roast in an aluminum pan. I'm going to wipe this off. So you're just going to make sure your plunger is down, all the way down. Let me just turn this where you can see it a little bit better. Stick your needle in. Stick it in as, you know, all the way to the bottom, but don't poke a hole in the bottom of your cup. You're going to hold it and just pull that suction back. And then you're gonna have some injection. But what I do is go ahead and just push it up. Oops. <laughs> kind of splattered. But I kind of do that to get the air out of it. So then we're just gonna do just a checker pattern. And you wanna pay attention to where, when you hit a bone, go ahead and inject that pretty good. So just stick it in. 
and do them about one inch squares. I'm not gonna measure, so I'm just gonna kinda guess. You wanna put about a tablespoon or so in each injection slot. And you wanna pull that needle out slightly as you're injecting. And now I've hit a bone here, so I wanna go back into that same hole if I can. So when you're done, you just put it right back in, pull it right out. Look at that. <gasps> here I am just talking about it, look. I got it almost full. So I'm gonna go up, just push that air out a little bit. Right back, right next to that other hole. And inject as I'm pulling it out. You wanna do this slow, don't do it real fast. And try to pay attention when you inject and don't go out the side of your meat because then you're just gonna waste your injection. But now if you're at the edge, you might wanna go like even kind of tilt it inwards. Inject it as you're pulling. About a tablespoon's worth. So this is what I'm gonna do all the way across here. And this injection smells, whoops, I just squirted it across the room. All right, there's a bone right there. Oh, there, I got to the edge. So I'll tell you what, I'm gonna do this. And once I'm finished injecting this whole pork shoulder here, or pork butt as it's called, but it is part of the shoulder. I'll tell you what I'll do is I have a, a diagram that I will put in my in front of my video so you can see that. And I may try to find this little spot here and inject it. So I'm just gonna show you one more time, just pull it up. You wanna push that just barely. Don't push a lot, cause Lord knows it's gonna squirt everywhere. <laughs> so just inject it down. And as you're squeezing, pull it up. And yeah, I've got already got butter all over me, but it's okay. These shirts are made for cooking. And we're gonna go all the way through this meat. And I'm almost done, so we'll come back in a few minutes and we're gonna flip it over. And then we're going to put a little rub on the other side and let it rest for 30 minutes. And then we'll put it on the grill. Okay, welcome back. So I finished injecting all the top and I've kind of gone around it, but I wanted you to see I've also gone in on like on the bottom part here and kind of went in on the side, but I'm almost out of injection. So I don't have much of my needle. But just kind of go in there to make sure that you get all of that covered. All right, so we're fixing to flip it over. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. As you can see, it's kind of messy. And I'm gonna get my rub and we're gonna rub some on here. All right, I'm back. So what I'm gonna do, which I forgot to mention earlier, there's a couple things I forgot to mention earlier. One is, in our videos we always have sweet tea. So don't forget to have your sweet tea. It is already pretty warm in this kitchen already this morning because it's gonna be a hot day because it rained yesterday. I'm just gonna take some yellow mustard, and I'm not gonna do a lot, but I'm just gonna put a little on this top. Now, if you wanna wear gloves, that's fine. Um, honestly, you don't have any at the moment. So, I washed my hands, and I washed them really good before I touched anything else. So, I'm just gonna kinda of rub this around the sides. And on the top here. And then I'm gonna mix my blends in. So I'm just gonna leave that on my hand here. And I have the apple wood. And I'm gonna shake it pretty generously.
and just kind of stick it on there. take just a little of this it is badia b-a-d-i-a it is a complete seasoning and we use this on adama's ribs and i put a little bit on mine it smells really good it has a little bit of a cumin smell to it i'm just kind of going over it i don't want to go too heavy with this because i don't want to cover up my other smell, but I don't want to put a lot of it either. All right, after that, I'm going to let this sit for 30 minutes. In the meantime, you and I are going to go outside and we're going to start the, the pellet grill. And this, this has got to sit 30 minutes, so by the time my grill gets hot and to temperature, this will be ready to go. All right, I'll meet you outside. Okay, here we go. This is my Pitbull's Lexington 500 pellet grill. This is a uh, wood pellet grill and smoker. I know if you've seen other videos, you've seen this before. What I want to do is show you how I turn it on. First, we're going to make sure, and I filled it this morning, I have some Pitbull's apple wood, wood pellets in there. And then we come down here, you're just going to hit power button and then I'm going to turn it on 225 and then it's going to come to heat and once it gets to temperature I will uh, get my probe because it has two probe outlets right here and you can put those probe outlets in I mean uh, sorry you can plug in a probe you can stick that in your meat and then this temperature Whatever one probe you put it in will tell you what the internal temperature is. All right, so while that's heating up, I'm gonna show you the inside. And it's the sun, as you can see, is coming on this side. But right now, it's not. And if you hear that noise, that is the convection blower, so it's blowing the heat around. I know it's kind of dirty. We'll have to get it cleaned out. But, but this is the, you can slide this bar here open. There is a little bar here that you can slide this open with. And this just is a little section here. And you can slide it either way. And then it'll have a flame. And when that flame comes up, um, you can grill, actually char your meat. So I'm going to let this come to temperature. And then we'll be ready to go. All right, welcome out to the grill. So my grill is hot. I'm just gonna put this roast on. But I also want you to see this grill, I mean this meat, after it's set for 30 minutes. Look how beautiful that looks. Hmm. All right. I'm gonna put it on the grill. It's gonna stay on the grill at 225. To 250. Um, I'm going to leave it on there for about three to three and a half hours. Then we'll come back. I'm going to find my meat probe and we're going to plug it in so we'll know what our internal temperature is. All right, let's get it on the grill. Now I only put the seasoning here, I did not put it on the bottom. I'm gonna go put my timer on and we'll be back when it's ready to come off the grill. All right, so here we are. We're fixing to take it off of the smoker. It is at uh, 145. And the probe says 145. So we're going to take it off and I've got some aluminum foil in a pan. And I'm gonna put it in here and we're gonna take it inside and put some butter and honey on it. Take this probe out. I'm just gonna 
going to sit it here. We'll put it back in when we come back. And there's, look at the bottom. Nice and juicy. All right, we'll put it in the pan. Go in the house, and then we're gonna we're gonna go in the house. We're gonna go in the house, and then we're gonna uh, put the butter and honey on it, and then we'll wrap it up, put it back on the smoker. All right, here we are at the counter. So over there in my aluminum foil, I just have to put my butter. I just got some parquet squeeze butter, and then we have some raw unfiltered honey. I'm just gonna drizzle that a little bit. I don't want to put too much honey because I already have brown sugar in it. So we're going to coat this good with the butter. Make sure it's, it'll be nice and um, juicy. Just like we did with the, we did those ribs. Except I didn't use this squeeze butter. I didn't have any, but I did get some this time. But we're not going to put a lot anyway. Just that little, that little drizzle. All right. Now, I'm gonna wrap it up and then I'm gonna let it sit here a few minutes while my smoker gets up to 300 and then we'll put it back in the smoker. Make sure you seal it really good. These ends. Oh, I forgot I wanted to put just a tad bit of apple juice in here. So let me get this end sealed up good. Alright, now that I've got that in, I'm just using my apple juice from earlier. I'm just gonna put maybe, maybe a quarter cup. Put this back a little bit. All right, then we seal this in. All right, I'm gonna leave this sitting here for just a little bit. We'll be back when we're ready to put it on the grill. All right, so here we are. I've got the grill at 300. And I'm going to put the meat back on until it reaches an internal temperature of 194. So I'm going to put the probe back in it. So let's get it back on the grill. Or I keep calling it a grill, but it's actually a pellet smoker. So please be aware. I may say smoke a grill, but I do mean smoker. because that is hot so I'll be right back okay got my glove because it was hot so I'm just gonna stick it through the top of this aluminum foil it's hard to hold on to with this glove Woo. all right stick it down in there move my cable over once it gets up to a 191 temperature then we can um, Turn this off and we'll be ready to eat it. Okay, so we've reached the temperature of 194. So it should be ready to come off. So we're going to take it off and take it inside. We're going to take this out. Welcome back. So we've 
um, I've let it sit for 30 minutes after we took it off the grill or the smoker. So let's open it up and let's see what it looks like. delicious. Can you smell it? Can you smell it? All right, so I'm going to cut a little piece. and see what is going on with this outside. Look at that smoke ring. Can you see it? That looks beautiful. Mm-hmm. All right. So if you remember, I injected the bottom about, about an inch apart, square, with the injection that we made. Then we turned it over and I put a little mustard on here and then I put my seasoning. We put it on the grill at 225. And then I turned it up to 250. Um, I let it stay on there for about three and a half hours, so it got to 145 internal temperature. We took it off, and then we wrapped it in aluminum foil. I, I put uh, a lot, good bit of butter on top, and squeezable butter with some with some honey, and then I put a little bit of apple juice. So it is tender, and but it's just not as tender as I had hoped. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? Look at the brown color. And I've already took a little piece. I'm gonna dip it in the juice. I've had it cut for just a second. Look at that smoke ring. Ooh, look at that. I'm gonna try to pick it up here. I think I'm gonna lower the camera down. Look at how beautiful that is. All right, let's do our taste test. So here's my meat. Do you see that? Look at that beautiful smoke ring. And look how juicy it is. All right. Now, if you want to pull this apart and you can make uh, pulled pork sandwiches, you could just slice it as it is and eat it just like that if you want. Um, you can put some barbecue sauce on it when you do the pulled pork. Whatever you want to do with this, you can do. But let's try this. Mmm. I cut a little bit different piece. Oh, that's much more tender. That's good. But I appreciate y'all watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And go ahead and leave some comments down there. Let me know what else you'd like to see. And if you'd like um, the recipe, it's going to be in the bottom in the description. And I will have a link to some of the materials that we use, some of the seasoning with some of the, with some of the seasonings. Also, I'm going to have uh, links to my books that I have on Amazon. These are just recipe books that you can actually write recipes in. So what I would do, um, go ahead and get one. That way on these recipes like we do, you can go ahead and copy those recipes and put them in there. That way you can keep up with them. All right. Well, thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all have a wonderful day. And don't forget, in all our videos, we have sweet tea. And as you can see, I've been drinking. I've already put some more ice in it. It's already melting because it's a hot day today. So enjoy your smoking. Enjoy all your traditional Southern foods that you cook. And y'all have a great day.